Hello you beautiful people and welcome back to Let's Play Warmer 40 k Inquisitor Prophecy. This time we will of course go on with the Void Crusade. So technically, theoretically, we have one mission remaining, a Sporocyst Assault against Turnit. So let's try that one out and yes, it will end if we die or not. Either, either way, it's going to end. in numbers, but if we sever the head, the body will die. Kill their leaders and break their will. Well, we will of course try that out. Um, you need to keep in mind this episode now, or this mission here, has a little higher of a difficulty since this is um, rating 72. The missions before were I think 69, so they were rather easy to compare to this one. So I hope dearly that we are going to make it. So the first Sporosis is going to be here. The good part is that this is the final mission of the Void Crusade. If we should be, if we should be, if we are able to, okay, now we already have the first major problem. We not only have a Sporosis here fighting, we have a bloody Carnifex as well. Which means, of course, <laughs> well, heavily armored targets. So I hope not more of them are coming. So switching the weapon to a weapon which deals a little bit more damage to armored targets. You see the Carnifex um, already is, well, he still has 50,000 HP, which of course is not very oh my goodness we are nearly dead who was shooting there at us i don't even get it was the carnifex shooting at us didn't even get that we summon those constructs please and i will at least a little bit do something of a retreat since they are constantly stuff being re um, summoned by the Sporocyst, and that is of course not very good for us. Another technological marvel device. Come back please, you as well. And now we can focus at least a little bit on the Carnifex, which is down to 20,000 HP. That is very much amazing, I have to say. Okay, I can't be summon anything else. That is not good. And he's down to 2000 HP, so we are st still going to make it. That is the good part here. Turn it Roya down. So now the one worst part of attacking the Sporocyst is actually kind of coming up. Do you know what? Um, of course, these missions are great because you generate small XP overall, but I still hope that the other Sporocysts are being solo and with no Guardian Carnifex with them. That would be not very cool after no, all. No pity. Uh, okay, these guys are down. And on we go. Let oh, 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 okay. Just home again. That is not bad. But I guess home again are not giving us too, too much of XP overall, like those spore mines as well. So you can probably kill hundreds of them and don't get much out of it. So the next one is around the corner and I hope dearly this one is alone, 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 home, alone, so to say. Oh come on, one lone ripper. The deadliest, <laughs> the deadliest unit in the um, Especially a lone unit in the arsenal of Tyrannus. So 
so this warrior will be taken down as well quickly 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 and then that means we can go after those bloody guys down here okay everything is resummoned uh i think there's a bigger is there a bigger okay there's a so on trope but that shall be not that much of a problem he deserved worse yeah, much sad. worse that's always the good part if you can actually focus on the unit at hand take it down and then focus on other stuff in the enemy army I mean, not always working out, of course, not always, but if it's working out, that is splendid for you. Oh, come on, why are you retreating? That is such a sissy act of him. The, that is the very, very nasty part of this guy, it's not only is he summoning units, he's retreating at the right speed so that you, um, that he's always, all the time, correctly anticipating, no, not anticipating where you shoot, but he's moving with the exact speed to slowly always get out of your range until the, the best thing is if your um, little constructs actually surround him and bring him down. So the Revenants are easily taken down, I hope. Um, quite a large group overall, did not expect that. Or Chivinadurus, Warriors, I'm sorry. Not only Revenants, Warriors and well. That is what I said in one of the episodes before I like the little wrecks which are all around the maps. Um, well, the bad thing as you have seen of course with those things with the um, destroyed um, tanks and all the good jets is that they are basically um, hindering firing throat. So your little big robot which is trying to shoot a homo gun for example will fire against the thick Elementium walls there of course ain't that nice. Your actions were so I will in the meantime try to uh, shoot at these bolses. But what is actually happening if we are retreating? Is this guy's wonderful yes he's following us. So we can take this guy down before it takes us down. No! Okay, I hope I uh, will spawn again right here. Okay, or not. Anyhow, we are going to take this bad boy down. So, uh, what hope I'm having here is that we can um, pull him out a tinsy little bit. Is he attacking? Yes, I think he's coming. So we can actually focus on this bad boy. The Toxic Dream. Very, very nasty thing of all. Come on. And again, I need to look out for his... Um, if he's preparing to actually um, charge, then I need to do something about that. I will... I wanted to heal the big guy up, but I think that is on one hand not necessary and practically right now not doable. So the good part is only 20,000 or 23,000 HP remain. So he will be quickly taken out, I think. 10,000 HP, let's resummon those guys. And he is history, so to say. We of course will retreat right now um, because he's um, not vomiting but releasing huge amounts of um, toxins which are very, very, as we have already have had in a couple of episodes, very, very deadly for our little inquisitorial body overall. Execution protocol initiated. So down to 17,000 HP, very, very good. So obviously all of them are probably going to be, or ma many of them are probably going to have some Guardian Angel. Um, I don't like that to be precise because that means more work for us to do. 
Oh yeah. Much worse. Yep, I'm totally down with you. So, oh, I love splash damage, to be very, very honest with you. So, we, okay, the map is really generated as um, it is displayed on the map. I always thought that was, um, I could have sworn we have had, not have had, we were playing once on the map where we, um, where one um, field was black on minimap as well and we could actually go onto it. But anyhow, maybe I'm just having memories there again so this is <laughs> as you see probably a little longer episodes but sometimes that has to be not every episode can be short and 10 minutes long actually why is this tuna drawer actually holding up so heavily don't understand that it took so much damage to bloody take him down okay now he's gone let's kill those guys we summon this guy and we are off and good to go after all okay yes then I go there and there that is a good way to go in my mind at least in my mind, and whether that's going to be good or not, we will find out very soon after we have killed off this toxic green again. Uh, good. I, that is, of course, um, what makes this su some episodes um, last longer than others. Not particularly because it is a hard mission, but these toxic things here, uh, or a carnifex, it t just takes time to um, take them down. Doing the damage, doing the damage, doing the damage. Both of them are resummoned. The only good part is he's already, da he's already down to 40,000 HP. I need again to retreat. Bonus damage, bonus, bonus DPS we take down as well. Okay, I will again retreat, resummon them. The big problem is that our big damage dealer is actually down. That is not very good. But this guy, okay, he's back. Good, good, good. So both of them are attacking him. Oh, down to 8,000. Nice, nice, nice. So this target is nearly a goner, so to say. Tunisroya is going to be taken down as we hole. We summon the big dude, come on, resummon him, nice. Switching the weapon to the damage dealing weapon to the splash damage dealing weapon because it is in this situation a little bit better for us. So we are actually, we were attacked from the back, no problem at all. Gone, gone. Sporosis is going to be taken quickly down as well. Resummoning. Okay, can't resummon them. Bad, bad, bad. Duty prevails. So only two of them remain. Oh my goodness! This episode, I think we are in now 16 minutes, like that for a change, a big mission. I did not expect it to be that long. To be completely honest with you. But in, I know I've, um, back when the game was still an alpha version, I think I, at the time I um, cut two missions down to, um, I cut a couple of missions down to two or two episodes, but in this game I actually don't like to do that because, well, it is not like a story game, it is a game where, you know, you have one mission and you can do it. I think it's not good to actually, um, then cut that in half. 
we were there of course lucky that we were able to take down the Sporocyst and then in after that the Carnifex. That's the only thing I can say there. I think I should uh, a little bit concentrate on the Venom Cannon Turnit Warriors. They are nasty. Another tech momentum has been lost. Well, I don't particularly hit him very good, I think. Come on, only 600 HP there. So that one down. And the Carnifex is nearly down to its last HP as well. I don't even remember whether he's going to explode or not. But I don't think he's going to explode. So good. Those are re-summoned. I'll reload and then switch the weapon. So they are gone. There's actually a little chest um, in a blue light. I've not seen that before. I'm not sure whether that is going to be good or not. But the only good thing I can say is that we so far have survived and that is never a bad thing um, i played a couple of end missions there where i was already um, down to my last bloody life and so that is very very good here indeed okay oh my god did you see those fawns there on the ground Nasty, I can only say. Very, very nasty. It's coming from the Melanthope. Okay. Uh, did not expect that. But that is... Is that even the last target? I don't even bloody know. So, the nasty combination here is, of course, that both of the units are summoning... Uh, steadily summoning in new unit and we are hardly being able to kill off the one wave there before we can engage the next nasty bit there so what I'm trying to do now is let this beast being attacked here the background there of course is that we with that thing being down the mission is basically won And not the other way around. Oh my goodness, this is very bad. Let us retreat a tinsy a little bit here. And then come back to combat. Um, maybe the Melanthrope or whatever that thing, that beast is being called, is going to follow us. That would be, of course, oh, so amazing. Could you please attack this guy? Man, I want to have this thing down right now. Down to 3,600 HP. 2,000. Come on, shoot it, please. Shoot it, shoot it, shoot it. 1,000 HP. And down it is. You severed the head. Now you can watch the body wander aimlessly until it withers and dies. Open the Supreme Void Chest. Glory to the Emperor. It is time to reap the rewards of your crusade, Inquisitor. There must be a teleport beacon nearby. Woo! Okay, we can't take... Okay, got it. Um, can't open up anything else, and that is it. Oh, goodness, I am so glad that we have finished off this mission. I did in the end not believe it because it took so long sorry i need to write down the mission count so to say i did not believe that we would make this mission so i'm very very happy here 
indeed we received a lot of items um, and we have concluded the um, white crusade here where we are we good so one more thing to do a quick look through the items we have received maybe an upgrade maybe not 188 that of course is a upgrade i'll go with that one got it and then got that 193 are you kidding me and that of course is insane where we are we good indeed so we did get an upgrade that is what i did not expect but guys that right now leads us to the end of this episode and you know it i really really thank you for watching um if you have actually enjoyed this episode guys then please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and hopefully and hopefully i'll see you in the next episode until then have a nice day stay frosty bye